What's going on, guys? It's your boy Fetty. Um, coming with another Marvel Future Fight video. Uh, today we got another beginner's video. Um, yesterday we did uh, a little clear with Loki. Um, and that was for Universal Day. Today we have female. Um, so if you had Loki, you could use her again today. Um, I didn't want to do that because I needed her uh, for Universal Villain uh, Extreme Alliance Battle. So I'm not going to be running with Loki today, but I'll probably do another video uh, with her clearing this next week. But uh, let's do it with Sharon. Uh, and again, I'm going to run it with no team ups again, um, just so you can see the potential of uh, what Sharon can do in Alliance Battle. Um, she's not going to be good for Extreme Alliance Battle, but for the purposes of uh, the regular Alliance Battle, as long as you have her skill cooldown um, maxed out, you shouldn't really have an issue clearing. Uh, even if you're T1, um, and I know that you know that's asking kind of a lot, but honestly, um, she should be your first T2 anyway. Um, but if she's not a T2 yet, um, I still am um, pretty adamant that you could clear as long as you have her skill cooldown. So if you take a look at mine, um, look, I've only got 30%. You know, most people have this maxed out. I got her at 30%, um, and I, I end up clearing this thing with no problem. Ignore defense is at 34%, um, so I'm almost maxed out at both of those. Um, if you don't know anything about stats, um, if you look at the cooldown in the bottom right, um, that's 30%. I'm getting 12% from my alliance, which means uh, I'm missing 8 uh, for a, a max of 50%. Uh, ignore defense is a max of 50% as well, so I'm only got 35 out of that 50. Um, and then after that, critical damage, critical rate, um, attack speed, I'm lacking in all those categories. So uh, by no means do I have an amazing Sharon Rogers. Uh, if you look at my obelisk, uh, I put just a, a weak little recovery rate obelisk on her. Um, honestly, I need to upgrade this. Um, so again, I don't have a, a, an amazing Sharon Rogers. The reason I put recovery on her is because my ISO 8 set is I am also grouped, um, which the bonus on it uh, is uh, is a recovery. Um, and it also gives you all attack, which is pretty cool um, considering it's a recovery set. So again, my ISOs aren't anything special. Um, nothing is really special about my Sharon Rogers other than the fact that she's a T2. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll jump into it. Um, I'll show you the very simple um, skill rotation. I mean, really, all you have to do is um, hit that three, that third skill, uh, hit her immunity, and then just um, met out a lot of fucking damage. So uh, I'm gonna jump into it right now. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you um, have any questions um, on how you can get a, a T1 Sharon Rogers to this level um, to to at least clear A B? Uh, definitely shoot me a comment, uh, and I'll help out as much as I can. Um, but again, this this one's for this one's for beginners, so um, we'll jump into the run, and I'll show you just how to do it. All right, guys. All right, guys, we're going to jump into this run here. So Sharon Rogers clearing it. I'm not going to run any little team up or anything. Just threw two bitches in there because it was female day. Right. Pretty easy, guys. And remember, my cooldown's not even maxed, so... Hit the three, that puts her immunity up for five seconds. I mean, beginning part's gonna be cake. I mean, once, until you get up to about, I don't know, 60,000, you don't see many meteors, uh, you don't see uh, very strong minions. I mean, you're just one shotting everybody right now. Now, for the record, um, if you haven't paid for her skills, um, if you're gonna max out any of her skills, it's definitely gonna be the three is the one you wanna uh, get to the level six. But I mean, I took all of hers to level six because at the time that I was um, building all my characters, I just I was building them maxed out.
Alright, so now you're starting to see that they're not um, as easy to kill. Uh, you're also going to start seeing a lot more meteors, so you definitely want to stay immune as much as possible. Um, what I do is I hit the 3 to become immune, then I hit the 5, uh, the one where she charges at everybody. So there's the 3, there's the 5, and then the 4 is also an iframe and very strong, and right back into the 3. Bam. Now it doesn't always work like that, you might have to throw another attack in there. Uh, in this case I probably will, there it goes, and then there's three again, bam. So a lot of times I'll do three, five, four, two. Uh, sometimes you might have to do all five skills, um, but uh, if you're low on health, I mean you might want to just run around rather than throwing in the last two skills. So you'll be immune, after you hit the three, you'll be immune for five and four. And if you're low on health and you need to run around, uh, then do the, do so after you hit the four. Okay, but again, this is a pretty much it's a piece of cake. I mean, as long as you're not you know getting caught non-immune and you're getting hit by the meteors and all that stuff, I mean, this is a pretty cake run. Um, it's almost done right now. So I probably got uh, three more mobs. Well, two more after this, and uh, we'll be all wrapped up. So again, right here, three, five, and then straight to the four, bam, and then three again. So three, five, four, two, uh, sometimes it slows down so much though that you end up just doing three, five, four, and then right back into the three. But remember, three is the key. That's the damage immunity. Uh, that's what keeps you safe uh, from getting uh, getting hurt and uh, possibly messing up the run. Now remember, um, for newer guys, if you end up dying um, or you're about to die, uh, you can always force close the app and uh, re 